Okay, DMX is a digital protocol for lighting control that is very straightforward. Basically, it's 512 channels of simultaneous information with each channel offering 256 levels of signal information. Now imagine a massively long and impractical row of 512 faders. Each fader in the down position is equal to zero. All the way up, it's equal to 255. Why 255 and 256? Who knows, but this is what we have to work with. DMX in and of itself does nothing. It does not process, compute, or perform any intelligent task apart from what it's meant to control. First, a quick history. DMX was created to address a shortage of available channels of its predecessor called LMX, also known as Multiplex. Now, LMX is very similar to DMX, except it's an analog signal instead of digital, and it's limited to only 128 channels. For larger shows and venues that required more than 128 traditional fixtures on the dimmer, DMX was an amazing development. After all, why would we ever need more than 512 channels of dimming? I will address that later, but let me continue with the history. LMX is a three-wire protocol using standard microphone cables with an XLR 3-pin connector. DMX was agreed upon by some old men in a cigar-filled back room as a five-wire protocol using a shielded, two-twisted pair cable. It's similar to microphone cable, but meeting certain resistance per foot parameters allowing it to be called true DMX cable and terminated with a 5-pin XLR connector. Here's where it gets a little confusing. Manufacturers that didn't have a representative in that smoke-filled up back room said, hey, DMX is a 5-wire protocol, but only 3 wires are required for DMX. And here's a side note, the extra 2 pins have never been designated, so they said, why waste money on a 5-pin jack when a 3-pin jack will do? Now consider this. Every microphone, every mixer, every pro audio component uses a 3-pin XLR and almost nothing uses a 5-pin XLR. The cost of using 3-pin was considerably less, so 3-pin XLRs were used by these non-member manufacturers. Of course I'm kidding about the cigar filled uh, back room with these old guys. The group is actually called USITT, which is a well-respected association for performing arts and entertainment professionals. This is the confusing part. Manufacturers that are members of the USITT are required to use the 5-pin protocol, even though pins 4 and 5 are undesignated. So a company like Lightronics, that still uses the LMX protocol, as well as DMX, will have dimmers with 3-pin jacks and others with 5-pin jacks. To be clear here, you cannot run DMX to the 3-pin jack of a USITT member's product. More on this on part 2.